So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 129 and in this video we are talking a little bit in depth about array to pointer decay. What I mean with that is we want to see how this array to, be, uh, to pointer decay behaves in more technical terms, which means we look the addresses and um, the storage type, which is, for example, in this case, the end. So let's go again to our example, what we had in our last video. And in our last video, we created a normal database with two integers. You can see it here and here are the two values. And we saw it has the type, the array type is array to int and the elements type is end. And then we uh, printed this out and we say, okay, that was the first element. This is one way to print it out is uh, uh, called just the array slot one and slot array slot starts with zero, careful, not with one. And then we print out the first element here, which is four. Then we have created a function. This function is array change first number here, this array function on top. And we pass this created array in as an argument and we change the first number. And then we print it out again, the first number and we realize something strange. The first number here, which we change is also changed here, which should not happen normally because we expected this to be a copy, but then we realized no, this is not a copy. An array is be, it behaves like a pointer. And with that, uh, we, uh, we try to understand now that we can uh, use an array uh, like a pointer, which means I created then another function here. And this function here has a parameter of a, po a pointer. And the interesting part is I could call this function with an array and it worked because like before, behind the scene, a array behaves like a pointer. And the, this uh, behavior of a pointer is called exactly this topic here, um, behind the scene array to pointer decay, which means behind the scene, there is an implicit conversion so that we can use an array as a pointer, similar to a pointer, let's say so. And what we had to learn also is, okay, this is still an array. How we can use now this array as a pointer when we pass it to a pointer. And then we, uh, I mentioned something like there is a pointer arithmetic, which means if you want, for example, access the second value here of this array, this five, and you pass this array as a pointer to a function, in this case, my second, and you can see this is a pointer here, declaration. And then we see, okay, this variable name must be used now with pointer arithmetic to get the second value. And here in this case, I have changed the second value because this is a differencing operator. Then this one here is the pointer arithmetic, which means, it gets to the pointer, then plus one is to the next uh, element, um, to the storage element, which is uh, in, in this case, and then we change here the value. And yes, now that was a fast recap what we learned so far. And I hope you know that because now we are trying to understand this line of code, which means we create here an array, we have already also an array, and this time they assign this array directly to a pointer. In our case, was it to a function, uh, which is here. It's similar. And that's, and we try now to understand this little code here. And to make it in our case, let's create a new assignment for this one is, I want assign this array directly to a new created pointer here below. So let's create a pointer. First of all, how we create a pointer again, very simple. First, we say which type we want to create. In this case, I want point uh, to this array here, which means I need this type here and careful, not int, uh, int type and that's also a little bit confusion uh, because when you ask what uh, uh, 
uh, what pointer you want to create because you want all time figure out to what type you want point. And here is very important that you know this decay. Uh, the, no, sorry, this array decays to a pointer which will point to the first element, and the first element is an int, which means in our case this array will have a pointer to the first element and it's an int and it's not this int2 array. All right, which means if I create a pointer to an array, I will, must check its elements type. And because the, uh, input, the conversion behind the scene will point to the first element and then you have to check his type. Okay, I checked it here. It's four and four is an int. So I need an int pointer. And how we create a pointer again? Very simple. We start with the pointed type. In this case, I know, okay, it will point to the first element of the array, which is an int. All right, and then we go with our asterisk, which is the sign of a pointer. But careful, it's, asterisk has different uh, meanings. In this case, it is a declaration, so it's okay. It's a pointer. Then we say a pointer variable. Uh, let's say pointer to an array. And then what we learned so far is we can make this. Of course, you can set it first that it points nowhere. Now. PTR. But in our case, I know exactly where I want point, right? I want point to this array. So instead of a null pointer, I say I know where I want point. I want point to you. And I set here this database ID. And that is our first line like here. And now we try to understand this more in depth because Right now, if you understand this one here, that's enough. I mean, for a starter, that's enough. You have just to know that a pointer is po uh, pointing to the first element. And that's why you have to create this pointer as an int data type and not the array data type, which is your two, uh, int2 two array. All right. Uh, because why? Why is it so? Because behind the scene, this array the case like it says here to a pointer and this pointer is pointing to the first element which is an int that's why we have here a int uh, as pointed type so that's good that's nice we understand this and yeah we made uh, we this is similar to this example here it's uh, just Thing. And here is an interesting thing here. Here is an upper uh, uh, function which calls size of, and we can learn this one too because this uh, size of operator is interesting. Because what is the size of operator? This size of uh, operator, sorry, it's not an operator function. This size of function will tell you how. Um, here it says here print size of an array but careful not the elements of an array elements of an array and size of an array are two different things the elements of an array would be one two three in this case right but the size of an array is referring to the type and it has here free and uh, free in type for example which means uh, you have to figure out first which type is this this is int int has at least four bytes you can check this with this size of operator with how many bytes on your system this integer takes and then you have to calculate the elements first one two three and then multiply it by this type which you have in this case int which means four so four uh, multiplied by three with three elements we have 12 this will print out here uh, the size of a for example in this case is 12 and here interesting this pointer here will not print 12 and this one we have to understand as well but let's go and use the size of operator in our code and see if we understand this first i just copy this one here and then i go here down i print this i paste this here and i replace this variable name and let's use a parenthesis. Normally it is calling here a parenthesis, I think. And size of, and let's call 
I want size of my array, which I created here on top. Before I press enter, but let me write this one first, size of user ID. And then I have this one. This is the first one. And let's see what I need more. Do I need more? Ah, yes, this pointer array as well. Let's see the size of this pointer. Normally we need with this uh, parenthesis, I think, but you can check if you need this one. Probably not. We can skip this. But later I, you can uh, watch this online uh, what the size of operator needs. So let's continue. And I need here now this pointer array. I want to check this size of, of this one too. Pointer to array. And so before I start, let's try to figure out how big is the size of this array. But careful, I use size of a operator. So if you... If you made it, you should um, have the number here. If this is four, then you have the number eight because the size of counts first the elements. We have four and then it says which type you want, uh, which type you have. It is an int. Int has at least four bytes in this case. And then it says, okay, Q multiplied by four. We have here eight. So uh, what I expect is that this one is printing eight. And now interesting is the second array, which we right created what we expected here, uh, what we expect here. So we watch this again. So we created here an array. Cool. Then we assigned it to an array. I uh, no, sorry. We created here a pointer and then we as, uh, assigned an array to this pointer. Okay, and now we should not make the mistake to think, okay, when I watch this array, I know the size of this one is uh, Q elements multiplied by uh, int, which is four, eight elements. And this one will be also the same size here. And why is this a mistake? Think about this shortly. I will, uh, you can pause it. I will continue here with the answer. The reason why this one will be not the same is because here I said it's behind the scene. This array converts to an, a pointer. So this array is implicitly converted behind the scene to a coin a pointer, which means we have again our array to pointer decay, which means um, which means this is not a real array here anymore. And that means this pointer here uh, is just a normal pointer. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. This is anyway just a normal pointer uh, because that was just to assign it to here. And then if you point out the pointer, let's see how the size of works on a pointer. The point it says, okay, what is your type? It says int. This pointed type is int. How big is int? Uh, four, but careful. This one is irritating and not accurate. This is a second problem here because if you say now, okay, this int is four bytes big and this should print four bytes and that's not accurate. Why is this not accurate? Because this is also something confusion again, uh, the size of pointers are most time the size because this one is the pointed type, not the pointer uh, type itself. Uh, what is the pointer type here? Let's show it here. The pointer type is uh, int asterisk, right? And the pointer type is int. So you can't say this pointer, uh, this pointer is four bytes because we have an int here. No, the pointer type is int asterisk. And this int asterisk is most time. And most time the pointer type is special and has most time, not all time, but 90, 90% all time, the, most time the same. Um, bytes in pointer have most time four bytes. Can we check this? Can we check this line here? Let's let's make here a breakpoint and check this. Perhaps I talk crap. Let's see. We use here this uh, debug tool, and debug tool means all time we can check uh, our 
analyze our code a little bit and that's very important and let's analyze this this here so it says here database used id that's not what i want i want this pointer to array which is this one okay we found out the type is indeed int asterisk which is a pointer type now i go one step further to so that this uh, that this pointer to array get all the information what it needs and then i expand this one a little bit and we see okay the pointer is still int but the pointed value is int so which means int is not the pointer type that's very important here so we have checked this okay that's okay then the next step is we have now to see uh, yeah uh, so this uh, like i said if you see the size of a pointer it's almost all time the same and you can uh, read this uh, pointer size is most time four bytes i think not so sure we will see it in a moment because this one will print out exactly only this pointer type here but don't be irritated by this int that says nothing here it's really this asterisk here which is more important and when i print this out we see here the last two lines this eight is my size of the database use id which i expected Right, we have calculated the array size is what was it again? Two elements multiplied by type, um, element type. Careful, not array type. This is element type, and that's why we have eight. Good, that makes sense. And now we go here to the next thing, this pointer type. So we are here, and the pointer type is four. But here, careful, don't be irritated by int, even if this is four, and how I can show you that. Uh, let's make another pointer type, uh, or let's make another thing here. Let's say how I can make this one without breaking anything. Ah, uh, I can uh, show you something here. Let's make a fast uh, double database. Database. Uh, this is just for just demonstration. And let's call this also two. Let's assign here also two values in it, but this time double values, uh, which means I can make it comma separated, uh, no, uh, dot separated. And here I have my two values. All right. And why I don't need here F, because this is a, a, a double, and by double has by default just this presentation. Careful, don't. Uh, Mix this up with float, and the difference about float and double was that this one is more precise in digits. And yeah, I created now this array, and now I make the same uh, thing like here. I create another pointer, but this time I need what? How I create now a pointer to this uh, array? We learned it. First of all, I have to check the element types. The element type is double. What is here the array type here? What is that again? Fast, very easy. You take this one here, Q double. So let's write this one here also so that we are uh, double. Uh, this is the array type. And this is the element type. So this is array type and this is element type. Very nice. And now when we create a pointer, how we make it again fast? Okay, first of all, we check on what we want point and we know an array will decay to the first element and the first element is this one and it has the type double so i need an array a pointer with double and then i make my asterisk to say i want make a declaration pointer to array double just call it what you need or want and then you can see I make it similar to this one and I assign it. And this time I assign it to this one here, database. Database. And now I have this one. So that sounds very nice. And now, interesting, what I want to show you is, uh, let's make here this one here. Copy this one here one more time. Let's paste this here on top. And now let's uh, replace this first one with database. Let's uh, this one with the second one. 
Uh, let's do this one first. And then you can see the thing what I wanted to show you was this strange um, pointer size. That's the very important thing here, but I made the uh, here. And what was here the problem again? Fast. The problem was um, the size of the pointer was four because we said here the other one here was int. But we will see now that the size of this pointer is what? What do you expect normally? Let's uh, repeat this again. Okay, we have here a double. A double has the uh, has the type. Uh, let's write the type double asterisk. And how many? And uh, what is pointing to the double pointer? It's pointing to a double. And how much bytes a double have? You probably don't know it. That's why I say it. a double has normally. I think eight bytes so it should be eight bytes and with that said we expect that this size of operator if you make a mistake and say okay this pointer is pointed to a double and it uh, because this one is just a pointer it will have now only eight bytes uh, because we have here double and that's wrong and let's see why I start this again and now we have here the numbers and you can see uh, I was wrong I think it's here it is the double has even 60 bytes here <laughs> not the eight all right 60 bytes and then we have the pointer which is very important here oh sorry my mistake my mistake my mistake what I'm talking it was right I was let, let me show you what this was first of all is the database how we calculate this one the database size of we take the elements which are two and then we multiply with the the type which is uh, like I said eight so we have two multiplied by eight is 16 so it was right what the, uh, uh, what it showed and then we show again this pointer and this uh, if you make now the mistake and say this pointer has eight size, eight size uh, it's wrong because this pointer type has is special and is not bounded to the pointed uh, type which means what i said before when we start this one you can see we have 16 which is this one this one has 60 bytes and this uh the second one has again four like our int but this one is definitely a double right we can see double and double has eight bytes so don't make this mistake and yeah that's uh, one thing and i think this video goes again too long i will continue with this array to decay um a little bit more but important is now that you understand uh Perhaps look after this word size of will be very important uh, to understand it. Uh, look also about um, about types in storage. Uh, read this a little bit in theory. I will dive a little bit more into this one to see how this uh, pointer arithmetic works later because that's why we make this also. This pointer arithmetic here is... Uh, will be explained later uh, if you understand these types here very nice and this kind how much uh, bytes they take so this kind of stuff you have to read again a little bit in theory to dive more into it but don't worry if you don't understand anything this topic is one or uh, belongs to the most confusing <laughs> topics in C++ and you can see why because here many things uh, happens behind the scene and if you don't learn this properly yeah then like uh let me show you this like here you would make here instantly the mistake when you learn not it probably to say okay this is a pointer type it's double it has probably the size of double eight wrong pointer has all time a special size not all time the same but can change but normally they have all time the pointer size which is in my case here four because it pointed out here for and it pointed out uh, here for as well because this is int and this is double so 
this is the reason why we make this a little bit more in detail because there are places which confuses many people and we have to go through oh, but of course you are a starter you can skip this if you say that's a little bit too heavy now and perhaps come later back so this video here and the next video which will go a little bit more to the storage things uh, so that we can make this pointer arithmetic which is normally very simple it just take the address and adds to this but to understand this one uh, you have to understand this first what it means so it's not so simple for starters and beginners that's why i will show you this in the next video we continue a little bit yeah and if you have any questions or any complaints like old time or any suggestions write it in the comments below see you in the next bye and good luck